Chapter 1891, the war god holds hidden secret, martial soul fusion skill. Its only flaw was its slightly weaker endurance, but it usually did not need defense in a battle. With its incredible speed and attacks, it would be able to overwhelm the enemy and achieve victory before its opponent could react to the situation. Why would it need defense? Its surprise attack had been prepared earlier. It relied on the opportunity provided by the energy storm. It chose the haughty dragon Dulu and Yi because it could sense that he must have been the slightly weaker fighter on mankind's side. However, it had never expected that this human being could be that resolute. He had not avoided it when he was confronted by a lethal strike. If the haughty dragon Dulu and Yi chose to flee at the time, the sickle emperor would have immediately targeted the Asiatic apple Dulu Shimengshan next to him instead. Moreover, if Yi had retreated, the sickle emperor would have been able to infiltrate the team's formation with greater ease. This would allow it to create more opportunities for the other abyssal powerhouses, leaving the God Hall even more vulnerable. Nanbonji Yi had not withdrawn but confronted the deadly attack. He had chosen a battle technique that would be damaging to both of them. Despite knowing that wounding his opponent could very well cost him his life, even after detonating his three-word battle armor, he could not possibly withstand a fully powered suicide strike from the Sickle Emperor. As they say, when two opponents cross paths, the brave one wins. When Nanbonji Yi's fist struck the Sickle Emperor's body, he would not have survived if the Sickle Emperor had cut him with both sickles. Even if he had had two lives, he would have been killed. Nevertheless, if that had been the case, the Sickle Emperor's injuries would have been even more severe as well. If one were to say that its fighting capacity had weakened by 50% after the collision, it would have gone down by 70 or 80% if he had sacrificed everything to slay Nanbonji Yi. Furthermore, it would probably be killed by the counterattacks from the rest of the War God Hall's team. Thus, the Sickle Emperor chose its dear life at the critical moment. The blade's radiance unleashed was supposed to be the double blade combined, but it retracted one of the blades to defend itself. In the end, Nanbonji Yi was able to survive and badly wounded it. Nanbonji Yi had paid a heavy price, but the Sickle Emperor was ranked fourth out of the nine abyssal powerhouses. On the other hand, Nanbonji Yi was genuinely one of the weakest of the War God Hall. More importantly, he put a stop to the Sickle Emperor's sideways advance, following the creature's plan to disrupt the War God Hall's battle formation. This one exchange had proven the haughty dragon Dulu and Nanbonji Yi worthy of his position as a War God. As this was happening, the Skycrosser Dulu Guan Yue also made a move. As the leader of the War God Hall, he did not help Nanbonji Yi during the surprise attack. His eyes were calm as he swiftly held the Skycrosser Divine Spear in his hand like a bolt of lightning. When he tossed the spear, neither the opponents nor his own team knew who his target was. Both parties' field of vision was greatly affected by the energy storm. All the shadowy figures before them were distorted. The Skycrosser Dulu domination of the Black Monarch earlier had been witnessed by all the powerhouses. Hence, almost all the abyssal powerhouses felt their chests tighten instinctively when he threw the Skycrosser Divine Spear. Throwing the spear also acted as a war horn, initiating their offensive. The numerous war gods of the War God Hall made their moves almost simultaneously. The vast Thunder Lua really put his palms together before his chest. His eyes instantly turned gold red, and the seventh soul ring on his body began to glow. The huge sun above his head descended rapidly and engulfed his body, swelling to three times its size. This was his martial soul avatar, the vast sun's descent. The demon Bikin Dulu Mozahong suddenly threw the demon Bikin in his hand. To everyone's surprise, the control type soul master had actually tossed away his martial soul that he used to control the battle. This astonished the demon empress and the Holy Spirit cult's powerhouses watching the battle. What was he trying to do? They had never heard that the demon Bikin Dulu had such a tactic. Was he not supposed to use the instruments melodies to control the entire battle? The abyssal creatures did not seem to mind the negative control brought by the sound. In the next moment, the Holy Spirit cult's powerhouses were stunned. This was because Mozahong had not thrown the demon Bikin at his opponents, but toward the huge sun that had just completed the vast sun's descent. Not only that, the demon Bikin Dulu Mozahong had also cracked into a faint, ghastly smile, and the seventh soul ring on his body was eliminated. In the distance, the demon Bikin that he had hurled was glowing brightly. In the next moment, the demon Bikin elongated. Mozahong had transformed himself into a ray of light and shot toward his demon Bikin like a moth flying into a flame. The Bikin left a long trail of light behind it. It was a ray of white radiance that looked just like a luminous beam lying horizontally across the sky. However, when it fused with the vast sun Dulu's vast sun's descent, the giant sun abruptly changed. The round sun extended on both sides and turned itself into an oval. The ray of white light lay across the gold red oval and transformed into a strand of glowing silk. Just as he was launching himself, Mozahong's ninth soul ring was also glowing. The ninth soul ring was the ultimate weapon for any soul master. It was their highest ranking and most powerful soul skill. Having ignited his ninth soul skill, Mozahong had transformed into a stream of white radiance. He landed on the white silk earlier in an incomparably precise manner. The glowing silk from the demon Bikin split into seven all of a sudden. The descended vast sun changed its form once again. It turned into an enormous gold red Bikin. What's that? Is that a martial soul fusion skill? The ghost emperor standing next to the demon empress could not stop himself from saying, let alone the ghost emperor and the underworld emperor. The people from the federation were staring at one another in confusion. The powerhouses from the spirit pagoda, Shrek Academy, the Tang sect, and even the military were all shocked. It can also be done in this manner, huh? Everyone was aware of the empress or Duo and God saw Duo's martial soul fusion skill. But since one were two completely unrelated powerhouses like the vast sun Duo and the demon Bikin capable of possessing such an ability, when the two of them completed the fusion and merged as one entirely, the intense waves of energy that appeared in the air even surpassed the sky crosser Duo Guan Yue. The boundless sea Duo Chenzinji might have been the only person from the ranks of the war god hall that could have rivaled them. All this time, the soul masters were aware the wealthiest soul masters organization was the spirit pagoda. Before it was destroyed, Shrek Academy was the mightiest soul masters organization. On the other hand, the war god hall was the organization that could be placed in the same category as the Spirit Pagoda, Shrek Academy, and the Tang Sect. For the vast majority of Soul Masters, they were only aware that it was the gathering place for the elite warriors from the military, but very few knew how formidable they were. Most of their recognition came from the Federation, but this seemed to indicate that the War God Hall was not the most powerful Soul Masters organization. At the very least, it was the newest one, and it seemed to be the weakest overall compared to the other three great organizations. Nevertheless, this was the moment when the vast Dandulu and the demon Bikin Dulu used their abilities to show everyone else that the War God Hall had its own hidden secrets as well. In any case, they would never hesitate at such a crucial life or death moment where the destiny of the entire Dulu continent was on the line. This was when they chose to unleash their true capabilities. The Emperor saw Dulu and the God saw Dulu Sumanjin's martial soul fusion skill was also the martial soul fusion skill between War God 2 and War God 13. It was already an exceedingly fierce move, but in this case, the vast sun Dulu was ranked first out of all 18 war gods while the demon Bikin Mozahong was ranked fifth. Chapter 1892 Vast Sun Sky Bikin. In fact, never mind the rest of the Soul Masters organizations, not even everyone in the War God Hall was aware of the vast sun Dulu and the demon Bikin Dulu's martial soul fusion skill. This was also the reason why the boundless sea Dulu Chenzinji had already decided that Aru would become the War God Hall's Hall Master after Ganyue. Any Soul Masters organization would need to have an elite warrior to assume personal command over it. Otherwise, the organization would be pressured by others into yielding just as the Spirit Pagoda was pressured by Shrek Academy in the past. The name of this martial soul fusion skill was the Vast Sun Sky Bikin. The Bikin strings were being plucked despite having no one playing it. As soon as the first string was plucked, it was as if the sky had ignited. The atmospheric temperature surged in an instant. Everything in front of it was warped by the heat. The violent
complete the fusion, they would not be able to unleash the skill if this particular process was interrupted. The vast sun sky Gukuna being formed successfully, even the sky crosser Dulo could not help cracking a faint smile. The plucking of the first string unleashed the dispel cloud reveals on. The melodious rhythm propelled a vast expanse of bright blade-like lights to shoot out. It arrived before the numerous abyssal powerhouses on the opposite side almost instantly. On the abyss side, the leader frowned ever so slightly but did not show any intention of retreating or dodging. He took a step forward and swung the sharp claw once again. During the process of swinging his arm, the claw spread open in a manner skin to grasping the dispel cloud reveals on. Boom! The light blade exploded, and it felt as if the sky had already turned into a sea of light. The sudden increase in temperature seemed to be turning the sky into an upside-down sea. The entire sky became warped from the heat. One could imagine how intense the scorching temperature was. The numerous war gods had gathered around the vast sun sky again. Meanwhile, the leader that had endured the crushing blow by force earlier began to rapidly change. His humanoid form abruptly swelled to three meters in height. Among the abyssal creatures, he was not considered especially large, but when he revealed his body, he exuded an astonishing feeling as though the devil king had descended. His head was particularly large, and it made up almost one third of his body length. With his head at such a size, his pair of skull-shaped pupils could be seen clearly as well. A pair of gigantic wings spread out across his back, and he had a pair of enormous claws at the ends of his arms. His body was pitch black with a dash of dark red. It was apparent that he had been injured after blocking the vast sun sky again strike in his human form earlier. None Nonetheless, the sky crosser Dulo Yue was still startled. He was well aware of the might of the vast sun sky Gigan's attack. The opponent had actually managed to withstand the strike. One could imagine the strength of his physical endurance. Such durability was enough to rival the body Dulo Ruin's leak proof golden body. Moreover, it was different in the sense that the leak proof golden body paid attention to perfect fusion while the abyssal creature's body was incomparably strong and tough. It felt as if it was unbreakable. All of you must die. The voice sounded rigid and far rougher than the spirit monarch's human-like accent. The wings on his back began to flap abruptly, and he instantly went from three meters to hundred meters in height. He took a step forward and threw himself at the war god holes and numerous war gods. His giant pair of claws grasped the thin air in a manner like he was going to tear the vast sun sky Gigan apart. He was the devil monarch. He was ranked fourth in the abyss, and he was the master of the abyssal devil puppets. Besides the abyssal sage king, he had the highest endurance in the abyss. Indeed. His body's defensive capabilities might have been the best in the abyss. The spirit monarch had formidable spiritual power while the devil monarch had a formidable body. The strength of his body was incredibly close to that of a god. One could even say that he had already reached that standard. He had been made one of the leaders of the abyss after the spirit monarch's death. His amazing abilities surpassed an ordinary quasar gods, and he made use of them as soon as the battle was in full swing. The rest of the abyssal powerhouses followed closely behind as well, charging toward the team from the war god hall. The battle had intensified. The vast sun sky second string vibrated, producing another hum. Like the first wave of the dispel cloud reveal sun, a peculiar transformation suddenly occurred in the sky as soon as the begin string had been plucked. The whole world was turning upside down instantly. It felt as if the universe was overturned. Despite the devil monarch's fearsome abilities, his body was spun the other way round. From charging toward war god hall's powerhouses, he started charging to the opposite side into the distance. It was even more unusual because the devil monarch was the only abyssal powerhouse charging in the opposite direction while the others were not. The remaining eight abyssal powerhouses, including the and black monarch, were all accelerated toward the war god hall. The vast sun sky Gukin had always been more than just an attack type martial soul fusion skill. It was also an exceedingly rare control type skill. In a sense, the vast sun sky Gukin was also the most powerful master control skill of the war god hall. The demonic and the black monarch were supposed to follow at the sides of the devil monarch. The devil monarch's sudden change of direction stunned them for a moment. Meanwhile, the numerous war gods were charging toward them as well. The sky crosser Dulo was at the forefront, dashing forward with the sky crosser divine spirit already. The move appeared to be simple and unsophisticated, yet it exuded a feeling of removing oneself from the complexities of the mortal world and returning to one's origin. The black monarch could feel a chill around her body, but the feeling came from her soul. She had already engaged in a battle with the sky crosser Dulo earlier. Guan Yue's suppression had put her at a disadvantageous position. However, it was her first time feeling the paralyzing cold. The sky crosser Dulo's calm gaze was emitting a faint chill. In his perception, the boundless sea Dulo Chenzinji was both a teacher and a friend to him, yet Chenzinji died on the battlefield that day. As the current war god holds whole master, he had to remain calm in order to lead the numerous war gods. Nevertheless, behind that facade, he was dealing with incomparable grief. He had been working together with Chenzinji for more than 50 years, constantly assisting him, and both of them were united in a concerted effort. Chenzinji worked on the external side while he led the internal side. They complemented each other and brought the war god hold to its current scale. Chenzinji's death had affected him tremendously. He had always been mild mannered, but this was his first time feeling a bloodlust surging through his mind. When he was fighting against the black monarch earlier, Guan Yue did not exert himself fully because Tang Wuling had yet to return at the time. It would have been pointless if he had exhausted his efforts to kill the black monarch and Tang Wuling would not absorb its abyssal energy. It would be futile, right? Thus, Guan Yue had been waiting for this opportunity to come. The abyssal passage was already closed, so the abyssal creatures could not possibly escape anymore. This was a battle of life and death even for them. The sky crosser Dulo went all out for the very first time. The spear technique that appeared so mundane was actually the essence of his entire life. Two strings of swords radiance shot out like lightning bolts from the demonic side. It came from the joint technique of the god sword Dulo and the emperor sword Dulo known as double sword combined. Although they had yet to utilize their martial soul fusion skill, the married couple had been working together for many years. Their double sword combined was a lethal attack. The sword's radiance filled the sky and covered the demonic. Chapter 1893 The Sickle Emperor is dead. The rest of the war gods each found their respective opponents. With an insolent attitude, the ferocious wolf Dulo Zhang Zian charged into the opponents. Together with the haughty dragon Dulo and Nan Ji, he headed straight for the Sickle Emperor, who had been wounded earlier. In the Soul Master's terminology, the Sickle Emperor was certainly an agility type soul master. In the human world, an assault type soul master would inherently suppress an agility type soul master. There was no doubt that Dong Zian was now the most aggressive assault type soul master. His silhouette swelled up with his entire body clad in battle armor. Just like a demon, he charged toward the opponent. In addition to their martial soul fusion skills, in a sense, there were only two limit Dulyoys on the scene. They were the Sky Crosser Dulo and the Ferocious Wolf Dulo. The Sickle Emperor could obviously sense the power of Dong Zian. If he was still in peak form, he would not fear Dong Zian. However, he was severely injured and one of his sickles had snapped. As a result, he had become very weak. He could only flap the wings on his back and transform into a light ray in an attempt to flee. Buzz! The Gukin string vibrated with a hum. The Sickle Emperor felt the stars spinning and the universe turned over at that very moment. Everything in the surroundings turned illusory in an instant. In the next moment, he was astonished to find that he had not only failed to distance himself from the ferocious wolf Dulo. On the contrary, the distance between them had become closer. He dashed toward his opponent akin to a flying moth darting into the flame. The Sickle Emperor was shocked. Nonetheless, he displayed his hidden skills with which he hoped to be promoted to the monarch rank at this moment. The wings behind his back suddenly vibrated at a high frequency to hold his momentum by force. Not only that, his body had turned illusory. He then swayed his body once and simultaneously projected countless illusory shadows in all directions. At the same time, the ferocious wolf Dulo Dong Zian came to a stop. His hands transformed into wolf claws, which made a tearing gesture in the void. He tore open a rift in the space in front of him. In the next instant, Dong Zian made his way into the rift and vanished into thin air. The
On the spot where the abyssal passage had closed earlier, violent tremors and loud booming noises sounded once again. It was the trembling of the abyssal plane. At this exact moment, a stream of golden radiance shot out and swept across the air. The abyssal energy from the sickle emperor's newly torn up body was immediately absorbed by the golden radiance. The golden radiance spun around the air once before the sickle emperor's energy vanished completely without a trace. The booms coming from the abyssal passage were even louder now. It was more terrifying when the abyssal evil sickle clan members, acting as a mainstay on the battlefield, all this while exploded in succession, turning into balls of abyssal energy. Meanwhile, all the abyssal energy was absorbed into the spinning golden radiance. Everything happened exceedingly fast. The devil monarch charging in the opposite direction earlier had just managed to control his body when the sickle emperor, the king of the abyssal evil sickles, had fallen. One had to acknowledge that the war god hall's power houses worked in tandem and harmony. Dong Zian was not a member of the war god hall, but his action was fully anticipated by the Spy Crosser The haughty dragon Dulu and Yi, who had severely injured the sickle emperor, gave Dong Zian an opening. More importantly, it was also due to the vast Sun Sky Gukin's group control. Under the control of the vast Sun Sky Gukin, the opposing team's most powerful member, the devil monarch, did not manage to charge into the battlefield. Due to the vast Sun Sky Gukin's control, Dong Zian had the opportunity to stop the sickle emperor from escaping and kill him. When one was rising, the other was falling. The war god hall's team had the upper hand at present, even though the opposing team still had three monarch ranked power houses. The overall fighting capacity of the nine great abyssal leaders was weakened in the absence of the sickle emperor with his powerful attack abilities. When the golden dragon spear was hurled by Tang Wulin, both his gaze and few units remained fixed upon the demon emperor's face. They glared at her to see if she was going to respond. However, they were rather surprised by the demon emperor's lack of action. She was hovering in the air with an icy cold gaze, as if all that was happening was unrelated to her. She did nothing but watch Tang Wulin devour the sickle emperor and the other abyssal evil sickle's energy. The golden dragon spear returned to him. It transferred the blazing hot and incomparably rich abyssal energy to the life subtree, which was not too far away. Tang Wulin clearly felt the life subtree rejoicing excitedly. It was an exceedingly large amount of pure energy. Yu Yuna had loosened her grip on Tang Wulin's hand in the meantime. However, she did not unleash her silver dragon spear to devour the abyssal energy as she watched the battle closely. The devil monarch became infuriated as he watched the sickle emperor die in battle. He raised his head and let out a raging roar at the sky. His body, which was over a hundred meters tall, suddenly transformed. The wings behind his back flapped. Soon after, the entire sky became dark. It was the devil monarch's domain known as the darkness sky domain. The sky turned black and was soon blotted out. There was the presence of an immense oppressive force. The numerous war gods on the scene obviously felt their soul powers circulating at a slow pace. In the next moment, they felt trapped in a vacuum. All the energy molecules in the air were disappearing at a shocking speed. It felt as if the entire space was devoured by the darkness sky domain. Suddenly, the vast sun sky became glowed brightly. Its third string was plucked, followed by the sound of a hum unleashed. The air soon turned blazing hot. A red light shield burst forth to forcefully cut off the oppressive force produced by the darkness sky domain. It was precisely then that the devil monarch descended from the sky and charged straight toward the battlefield. I'm your opponent. The ferocious wolf Dulu Dong Zian shouted out loud. His body stretched out while his entire person instantly swelled over a hundred meters in height. He leapt into the sky abruptly to face the devil monarch. On the other side, the battle between the black monarch and the sky crosser Dulu Guan Yue had already begun. As the black monarch was confronted by Guan Yue's simple spear technique, black light bands rolled out from behind her to form an enormous black hole with a strong devouring force. She fused herself with the black hole in an attempt to use the unceasing, devouring power to resist Guan Yue's spear. The sky crosser divine spear glowed brightly and pierced through the void in an instant. It seemed like the entire sky was stabbed. The black monarch let out a muffled hump and stumbled out of the black hole. Subsequently, the black hole was shattered. The sky crosser divine spear stabbed forward once again. It appeared just as insignificant as before. Yet, the black monarch felt an intense weakness wash over her. At the same time, the sickle emperor who was killed distracted the black monarch, which affected her state of mind. A determined look appeared in the black monarch's face for the very first time. She realized that she would die if she did not put up a good fight. Her long hair swayed even without the wind. Her hands were cut together in a manner akin to holding her heart. A ball of purple black radiance appeared in her hands. The black monarch had relied on her absolute capabilities to become one of the ten great abyssal monarchs. When the purple black light orb was unleashed, everything in the surroundings became warped. The sky crosser divine spear which followed the maxim of heaven and earth was guided by the light orb into making a turn. At the same time, the black monarch's body had turned purple black completely. The light orb in her hands was flung out. It was seemingly heavier than a mountain. Chapter 1894 The Momentary God. Every one of the ten great abyssal monarchs had their own trump cards. In a sense, they were all capable of mobilizing the abyssal plane's power. At present, the light orb in the black monarch's hands was precisely the core of the plane level, where she together with the numerous black empresses came from. The king ranked abyssal leaders with the abyssal cores themselves. They were incapable of separating themselves from the cores. The entire level would be doomed when the core was destroyed or devoured. On the other hand, the monarch ranked powerhouses had the ability to mobilize the core power. In other words, they could rely on the abyssal cores to focus the power of their respective levels on their bodies. It was akin to absorbing and devouring all the powers of their clansmen for themselves. Why was the spirit monarch capable of elevating his spiritual power from the preliminary divine origin to an even higher level when he was confronted by Guyuna? Precisely because he had mobilized his abyssal core at the time, the cumulative power of the abyssal spirit dragons was transferred to him temporarily in its entirety. Only then would he be able to make the breakthrough. Unfortunately, his opponent was the silver dragon princess Guyuna. The advantage of this transfer technique was that it allowed the creature to power up instantly. However, it had a serious flaw too. The recovery of this technique's consumption was extremely difficult. The abyssal energy could only be regenerated after many years of recuperation, or when a large amount of life force was devoured. Just like how the Black Monarch used her levels for in the battle, the consumption would lower the overall rank of her entire clan in the abyss if she sustained the effort for a longer period. By then, she would no longer be a monarch ranked abyssal powerhouse. If she sustained for a period whereby the core's power was fully exhausted, then the entire Black Empress clan would be annihilated. Hence, the Black Monarch would only utilize her plain core's power if it were her last resort. Guan Yue's expression changed drastically when he was confronted by the heavy Black Light Orb. He retreated and changed his posture to hold the Sky Crosser Divine Spear with both his hands until the spear in an upward motion. His action appeared to be slow but steady. The tip of the spear hit the Black Light Orb. At once, the Light Orb deflected and flew toward the sky. Meanwhile, the Devil Monarch had returned. The Darkness Sky Domain appeared once again. The Black Monarch's aura increased exponentially under the amplification of the Darkness Sky Domain. Even her plain core emitted a brighter radiance soon after. It circled the sky once before it shot out once again, akin to a meteor chasing after the moon. Guan Yue's eyes squinted. He saw the ferocious wolf Dulu Dong Zian pounce toward the devil monarch. While he heard the vast sun sky Gukin hum to resist the darkness sky domain at the same time, time flew by in a flash. Both parties' overall fighting capacities were on par. If this were a one-on-one -on -one match, the war god hall would be at a disadvantage. They did not manage to cash in on their opportunities. The opposing team barely wavered despite losing the sickle emperor. It would be tough to win this battle if the vast sun sky Gukin could not be sustained further. Fight. Guan Yue shouted aloud with a resonant voice. The sky crosser divine spear in his hand suddenly turned into a blinding incandescent color. Simultaneously, violent flames began to burn his body. His forward battle armor was burning, similar to how the haughty dragon Dulu and Nanbon Yi burned his battle armor without the slightest hesitation. In
between Yun and Yang. The demon empress had a shocked expression as she watched the battle in the distance. She sensed it vividly when the sky crossed a duel Guan Yue's body burned in flames. It felt identical to when she broke through the limits and was elevated to the god rank in the past. It was also a breakthrough of spiritual and soul power simultaneously. The sky crossed a duel Guan Yue was no longer confined to quasi god rank for he had broken through to the god rank in a single attempt. Everything appeared so simple and smooth. It seemed as if he did not need to exert any strength at all before he made the breakthrough, which was almost impossible for mankind's soul masters. On the other hand, the spear which he used to stab forward was precisely the spear which broke through to the god rank. All Guan Yue's essence, energy, and spirit were condensed in the spear upon completing the breakthrough. The black monarch never expected the sky crossed a duel to unleash his spirit at this moment. In fact, even Guan Yue found himself in a peculiar state. All sorts of thoughts and emotions emerged in his mind akin to a gushing fountain. He felt as if he had returned to his younger days. In his youth, he was a soul master with an impressive natural endowment. Going by his natural endowment, he was no weaker than the boundless sea Duluo Chenzenji. In fact, he was not lagging far behind the Atlas Duluo Yanming either. Yan Ming once told him that he was not competitive enough. He was overly gentle. Even if he could make his way to the pinnacle, he would be taking a different path from them. Guan Yue's gentle demeanor throughout his life had become a natural extension of him. He made progress in his cultivation base over time and elevated himself every day. Based on his foundation, no one could compare to him even in the soul master's world. All his elevations and breakthroughs were accomplished seemingly without any extra effort. Ever since Guan Yue became a quasi god, he had never attempted a breakthrough like the one the boundless sea Duluo Chenzenji and the Atlas Duluo Yanming tried in the past. Did he long for the god rank? He yearned for it, of course. Yet he hoped that he could acquire what he yearned for in due time. He had faith that everything could be accomplished naturally. Thus, he cultivated painstakingly every day even after becoming a quasi god. He did not stop although his cultivation base had remained stagnant. He continued to practice diligently with every passing day. However, he had never attempted a breakthrough all this while. He was aware that he was not as sharp as the Atlas Duo nor the Boundless Sea Duo. He knew he could not possibly succeed even if he were to attempt the breakthrough. Thus, he continued to endure and experience the world in silence. He could not achieve the god rank, yet anyone at the quasi god rank could feel that level. Actually, he was the most gentle, but also the most hardworking person among the quasi gods. Inevitably, his comprehension was becoming more profound. As a result, the Sky Crosser Duo adopted a different approach and found a path that belonged to him alone. As he aged, there was nothing he could do to make the breakthrough regardless of how he accumulated. Guan Yue learned that it was impossible for him to achieve godhood in his lifetime. Nevertheless, he was not disappointed. Moreover, he had made the decision to seek the opportunity to, at least, experience the god rank once in his lifetime. The feeling was simple, yet it was clear. Although it only lasted a moment, it was enough for him. There was nothing he could do to achieve the breakthrough, but he was capable of elevating himself to that rank temporarily if he spared no effort in adopting a method. The methodology was precisely through burning. He burned his origin power and all his other powers. He utilized that momentary sublimation to elevate himself to the god rank temporarily. It was an extremely short moment. Due to his accumulation for so many years, it was possible for him to achieve it. Another limit Duluo in his place could not possibly touch the rank regardless of how he burned himself. The Atlas Duluo and the Boundless Sea Duluo's choice was to attempt to make a real breakthrough by exhausting every possible means. On the other hand, Guan Yue's choice was momentary youth. Even he had no idea how long he would be able to sustain it when he had elevated himself to the god rank. However, it was not crucial for him since he had decided that he would give it a go before his body declined. It was one of his wildest dreams. Today was the day he attempted it. Chapter 1895 One God's brought forth the flames trial. What could be more worthy of an experiment than being confronted by formidable enemies? All the war gods could not help showing their sorrow on their faces when they saw Guan Yue's body burned by flames that came from his battle armor and origin power. Guan Yue had warned them about everything that would happen. Moreover, he wanted them to memorize all that he would go through. He had also noted his method and plan in detail so the war god hall would have the record. This would be the most precious treasure he would leave for the war god hall. He was already old. How could he continue to live on in this world after completing such a breakthrough and burn? He was confronting all this with a clear heart and a calm mind. At that moment, he could finally feel the power that came from a brand new rank after he achieved godhood. It was the rank that he never reached, despite cultivating for so many years. He could not help feeling emotional. No wonder all the limit Duluo's were seeking breakthroughs. He was finally in a position to say that the yearning was worth it. As he made the breakthrough, he felt a purification as endlessly vast as the sea and sky. If one were to say that a limit Duluo had the ability to control heaven and earth power within the limitations of the world, reaching God would allow one to transcend beyond those limits. For the very first time, he could feel the calling of the cosmos and sense the aura coming from beyond the world. It was a lofty feeling. No wonder the demon empress despised everyone after making the breakthrough. Such hatred came from being able to tower over the entire world. Was this the feeling of a god? Guan Yue thrust his spear forward while being immersed in a trance. It pushed the heaven and earth power aside, and the cosmos could be felt remotely. It was an enlightened spear technique. The plane core held out by the black monarch arrived before him just in time. The sky crossed a divine spear carried power that did not belong to this world. Both of these objects collided and resulted in indescribable transformations. The plane core held out by the black monarch froze in midair while the sky crossed a divine spear being the brilliant light in a split second. The black monarch felt like a human standing before her had suddenly turned incomparably tall. It was as if she was representing the entire Black Empress plane as this man judged her. Yes. One god's pierce brought forth the plane's trial. Buzz. The plane core came to a stop instantly and was devoured by the spear's radiance. It vanished into nothingness. The black monarch's body froze and began to break down the instant she lost the plane core. Where the spear's radiance passed, the darkness faded. In fact, not even dispersed abyssal energy could be seen. The sky crosser Duluo unleashed one god's pierce and the black monarch was dead. There were loud explosions as the ground quaked. In fact, crack marks had just appeared on the recently sealed passages exit once again. Even mankind's powerhouses could clearly sense the sorrowful howl coming from the abyssal plane. This time, it was the death of a monarch ranked powerhouse. The eighth level of the abyss had exploded. Although it was not as terrifying as when the abyss second level exploded, it was still enough to make the entire world tremble in fright. The black monarch had actually fallen as well. Guan Yue levitated in the air quietly as if he was still reminiscing about everything that had just happened. The death of the black monarch had affected the entire battlefield. It was a crushing blow to the numerous abyssal powerhouses. God rank. Mankind's side had actually produced a god rank powerhouse as well. Even the devil monarch, who was so fearsome, was still not at god rank yet. All at once, the numerous war gods unleashed all of their abilities to dominate their opponents. However, it was also at this exact moment when the sky crosser Duluo let out a soft sigh. He turned around slowly and gazed deeply at the vast sun sky Gikin. He nodded at vast sun sky Gikin and then looked behind him once again to Tang Wuling standing at the front of Mankind's legion. Their eyes met and an ominous feeling immediately arose in Tang Wuling's chest. He clenched his fists subconsciously. Guan Yue smiled. He raised his head and looked up to the sky. Though his eyes were turned upward, it felt as if he was looking down at the ground once again. His body began spinning abruptly and he held the skycrosser divine spear in his hand. The spear vanished into the air after emitting a dazzling brilliance. Glowing figures began appearing in the area surrounding the skycrosser Dolores' body. It was his thought concretization. My life was not exciting, but it was simple. It was not fantastic, but it was fulfilling. Heaven treated me well, and at long last, I was allowed to touch that realm. It was so brief, but it was. Enough. I'm content. I'm way ahead compared to my two seniors. Even though it was only for a moment, I've already recorded my experience to pass down to the future generation.
divine spear. To him, everything happened so quickly. No one had expected that Skycross Adulo would make such a choice. He sacrificed himself to touch God rank level. He then killed the Black Monarch and destroyed the Devil Monarch. His personal efforts had determined the victory of this battle. Sorrowful cries came from the mouths of the numerous war gods almost immediately. Everyone was flushing scarlet in grief, and sadness filled their hearts. They were well aware of the Skycross Adulo's tremendous sacrifice for the War God Hall. Without him and the Boundless Sea Dulo, the War God Hall could not possibly be on par with the rest of the few great organizations. They understood why Guanyue chose to sacrifice himself. He did it so more of them could live. Otherwise, if they were to fight the opposing team using standard tactics, even if they managed to kill all the Abyssal powerhouses, many of them might not have survived. He relied on his own efforts to kill the Black Monarch and the Devil Monarch so that the opposing team would not stand a chance. He wanted to lead his team to victory. The Skycross Adulo planned everything meticulously in advance. He gave the numerous war gods a chance of survival while he selflessly chose to sacrifice himself. His entire life was completely devoted to the War God Hall. Buzz, buzz, buzz. The vast Sun Sky Gekin's seventh string was plucked, and the entire sky walked violently. It felt as if the vast Sun Sky Gekin had been countless blinding lights in an instant. It was akin to an exploding sun that emitted spectacular, blazing heat. Among the numerous Abyssal warriors, almost all the king-ranked powerhouses were burned by the scorching temperature. Almost driven to madness, the war gods charged toward their opponents with no regard for defending themselves. The Bee Monarch was astonished. They say that an army burning with righteous indignation is bound to win, and the war gods had entered a state that terrified her. Her compound eyes glimmered, and countless blue light rays rose from the Bee Monarch's body instantly. There were twelve blue light rays that were especially eye-catching. In the distance, her direct disciples, the twelve great king's bodies, exploded in unison to transform into energy that was infused into the Bee Monarch's body. The twelve blue light rays shot out to collide into the terrifying attack unleashed by the vast Sun Sky Gekin. Without the slightest hesitation, the Bee Monarch flapped her wings and retreated at lightning speed. She could tell that the vast Sun Sky Gekin could only unleash an outburst like this once, and it would consume a massive amount of energy. If she could avoid being hit, she would stand a chance. Meanwhile, the Devil Monarch that had apparently just been slain by the Skycross Adulo had appeared out of thin air in the distance. Though his aura had weakened substantially and he lost an eye, he had survived the God Ranked Blow. Chapter 1896: The Ferocious Wolf's Persistence. The Devil Monarch was the leader of the Abyssal Devil Puppet Clan. An ordinary Devil Puppet had two lives, so how could he only have one? He had been reduced to an ordinary Devil Puppet state because the Skycross Divine Spear hit his origin power earlier. In any case, an enormous silhouette appeared behind him just as he had revealed himself. The figure swiftly wrapped his arms around the Devil Monarch's body, squeezing him with terrifying strength. It was the Ferocious Wolf Dulo Dongzian who had been waiting at that very spot for some time. The Devil Monarch was shocked. He struggled with all his might trying to break free from Dongzian's embrace, but the limit Dulo had been bolstered by his three-word battle armor. Of course, he was not as mighty as the Devil Monarch at his best, but the Monarch had already been weakened. Attempting to struggle free was not as easy as it sounded. When the Skycross Adulo achieved God rank, he could see beyond his normal vision for a moment. With a single glance, he could see the Devil Monarch's origin power. As a result, he had transmitted his voice to Dongzian when he held out the Skycross of Divine Spear. He told Dongzian that the Devil Monarch might have a second life. Hence, Dongzian was waiting there in anticipation of the Devil Monarch's arrival. Dongzian had already experienced the Devil Monarch's abilities earlier. They had only engaged in three collisions, yet he had been injured. The endurance of the Devil Monarch was a once in a lifetime experience for Dongzian. He was well aware that he was no match for the Devil Monarch. The Devil Monarch's physical endurance had genuinely reached God rank. Had it not been for the Skycross of Dolores' fully powered strike, perhaps no one would be able to hurt him. Thus, Dongzian had burned the battle armor on his body without the slightest hesitation when he grabbed his opponent. Guan Yue, you won't be dying for nothing. Dongzian opened his eyes wide to look in the direction of the federal military, and it was as if there was something unusual in his gaze. Just then, silver radiance exploded from his back, and the surrounding space collapsed. His enormous body began to take on a dazzling silver hue. The reason the ferocious wolf Dolores was capable of cultivating to limit Dolores' rank despite only having a wolf type martial soul was not that his martial soul produced impressive variants. Of course. It was because he comprehended the depth of space due to a fortuitous opportunity. This allowed him to continuously break through himself. Nevertheless, he knew very well that he could not possibly achieve quasi god rank in his lifetime. He had plotted at any god rank and was incapable of going further due to the limitations of his natural abilities. He would be able to withstand ten strikes at most from the Devil Monarch in peak form before he would be defeated. That being said, the Devil Monarch was vulnerable at that moment, so he had a chance. Dong Zian's ferocity was not only targeted at the enemy but also himself. He was guarding not only his glory but also the pride of the Western Army Corps. He was not only burning his power but also the flames inside his heart. His deep gaze was meant for the divine brush Dulu Guanzi. Like how he told Yu Guanzi in the past, he, the ferocious wolf Dulu Dong Zian, the Western Army Corps regimental commander, would never allow himself to be pinned to the pillar of shame regardless. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Incredibly intense explosions of countless silver lights made it look like the sky was collapsing. The darkness sky domain vanished while the two enormous figures were completely annihilated as well. The massive amount of abyssal energy was about to disperse when a ray of silver radiance appeared out of thin air. It bore out from the space radiance and stabbed into the center of the massive abyssal energy. It was akin to a real enchanted cudgel that calmed the sea as it sucked the devil monarch's abyssal energy so as not to allow any bit of it from dispersing. It was the silver dragon spear that came from the shattered void. The ferocious wolf Dulo Dong Zian was dead. The king of the abyssal devil puppets, the devil monarch, was dead. Only the word horrifying could be used to describe the battlefield at that point. The skycrosser Dulo Guan Yue and the ferocious wolf Dulo Dong Zian, two of mankind's limit Dulos, had given their lives to kill the devil monarch and black monarch of the ten great abyssal monarchs in addition to the sickle emperor. The three great abyssal powerhouses had fallen. On the other hand, it was also at this exact moment when almost all the rest of the abyssal kings were enshrouded by the vast sun seventh string sound wave. Save for the Bemonic, all the abyssal warriors were killed one by one under the allied assault from the numerous war gods. With great effort, the Bemonic relied on her instantly elevated attacking ability to diminish the vast sun sky against power. However, her movement still slowed down. The deaths of the other abyssal kings had affected most of the war gods. The Bemonic only wanted to run away. In her eyes, these human beings had gone insane, and she felt an unprecedented fear entwined her heart. It was at that moment when the light of two swords suddenly transformed into an astonishing, curved rainbow, and the area was locked down instantly. A gigantic imperial silhouette with a crown on its head appeared out of thin air and looked down to the ground. Flares were burning on the figure's body, and the image was incomparably clear. He was over a thousand meters tall, astounding everyone. He held a sword in his hand in a manner that suggested he ruled over heaven and earth. It was the Tianwu Mungin Emperor God Sword. The giant sword burning with blinding flames was also filled with boundless sorrow and determination. The Skycrosser Dulo and the ferocious wolf Dulo had fought desperately just so more of them could live. Every war god understood the principle profoundly. They would not hold back anymore. They would not let the Skycrosser Dulo and the ferocious wolf Dulo die in vain. The aura of death enshrouded the battlefield. The Bemonic's compound eyes constricted violently, and she burst apart with a loud boom. It was as if her entire person had transformed into thousands of bombies in a split second. The swarm toward all directions. Despite the swarm's efforts, the giant sword radiated a powerful suction force as soon as it was lowered. She had managed to disperse her body, but the transformed abyssal bombies
chance to live longer. No one hoped for victory more than them. The war god Hall relied on their fearsome abilities, meticulous planning, and more importantly, the two great limit Duyue's spirit of self-sacrifice to turn the tide. They ended the first team of allied forces from the Abyssal Plane and the Holy Spirit Cult, killing all nine Abyssal powerhouses. Meanwhile, Tang Wuling's golden dragon spear was also glowing brighter and brighter. The life subtree was growing steadily in the distance. In Shrek Academy's Sea God's Lake, ripples began spreading out on the calm surface of the Sea God's Lake. The humming sound had even affected the academic buildings around the lake. The teachers charged out from the classrooms in succession. Those that were capable of flying swiftly rose into the air. It was also at this exact moment a dash of green gradually arose from the surface of the water at the center of the Sea God's Lake. Although it was a very slow process, the gigantic tree crown brought out boundless vitality to the place. Chapter 1897 Sea God's Island must be rebuilt. The moment it emerged from the water, the entirely new Shrek city was seemingly embellished with colors. The dense life source could be felt by all in Shrek Academy. The Tang's disciples and the Titan giant Eggplant's clansmen were the latest residents of the new Shrek city. They could all feel the immense benefits brought by the thriving source of vitality. A number of silhouettes flew out from the water. They were precisely the seven old demons led by the old demon breed. Every one of them had a bewildered and suspicious expression. Nevertheless, there was a semblance of wild joy. The dense life source was immensely beneficial for them naturally. Their lifespan would be increased in the presence of a thriving source of vitality. More importantly, they could advance a step closer to their origin power by subliming with the life force. It was the ancient life tree. It was now the ancient life tree in its truest sense. A massive amount of life force had been infused into the tree such that the ancient life tree could rapidly grow till it finally reached the water surface. Big brother greed. What's the size of the tree crown? Less than a tenth of it is revealed, but it's already like a small island, said so the old demon sloth curiously. The tree crown was no longer the same as when it was underwater. It was growing rapidly, its branches spreading and leaves sprouting. At the same time, it emitted an even richer life source. The initially clear blue sea god lake now had a dash of jade green. The deep, dark green appeared like the color of emerald. The sight was soul stirring, yet heartwarming. Meanwhile, the crown continued to grow. The rich life sources surged and flowed, causing the air to turn sticky even. The intoxicating life force caused a faint green splendor to arise from the seven old demons' bodies. A radiant sparkle could be seen in the old demon breed's eyes. Now that the sea god lake and Shrek city are here, Shrek is still missing a true core. Do you still remember the core of our academy before we left the place back then? The old demon lust said in astonishment. Do you mean the sea god's island? Er. Uh. What are you trying to say? The old demon breed burst out laughing. Isn't this a fortuitous opportunity granted by heaven? Isn't this gigantic crown the best place to rebuild the Sea God's Island? We can do the preparations first. In the near future, the Sea God's Island of Shrek Academy ought to be rebuilt when Tang Wulin and the rest return in victory. The seven old demons eyes lit up. They shifted their gaze to look toward the north. The absorption of such a rich life force could only mean one thing. It signified that everything at the front line was going well. Tang Wulin was devouring a large amount of life force, which was being channeled into the ancient life tree. Tang Wulin clenched his fists tightly. The image on his mind was the Skycrosser Dolores' final gaze before he died in the battle. The act of dying peacefully and to be magnanimous at the same time was easier said than done. Yet he saw not the slightest sorrow or inkling of cowardice in the Skycrosser Dolores. It seemed like he had everything as planned. His accomplishment had been without additional effort. The two limit Dolores sacrificed their lives in exchange for the victory of this battle, so that more war gods could live. They paid with the price of two limit Dulio's lives to critically cripple the Abyssal Plane. Was it all worth it? Strategically, it appeared so. The Abyssal powerhouses were incapable of fleeing now. The gamble had paid off. With the presence of the Golden Dragon Sphere, their Abyssal energies would be devoured and absorbed by Tang Wulin after their deaths. Consequently, the different levels of the Abyss collapsed. Yet, Tang Wulin found it hard to accept the fact emotionally. He was trying his best to stay calm. The battle was of such great importance that he would willingly sacrifice himself for the battle. However, the Skycrosser Dulio was dead. Tang Wulin did not get to spend a lot of time with the Skycrosser Dulio. He could still remember the Skycrosser Dulio's lesson to him in the War God Hall like it was yesterday. It was the Skycrosser Dulio who brought him to the Sphere Spirit Realm. At this moment, Tang Wulin's emotions fluctuated intensely beyond his control as he held the Skycrosser Divine Sphere in his hand and felt the Skycrosser Dulio's calm within it. Death won't be for nothing. The final victory of this war will certainly be ours. From the beginning of the war till now, mankind's legion had lost four great limit Dulyos in the battles: the boundless sea Dulyo Chenzinji, the light dark Dulyo Long Yeyu, the Skycrosser Dulyo Guan Yue, and the ferocious wolf Dulyo Dong Xian. It was tragic. In addition, there were the heavenly phoenix Dulyo Leng Yaoshu and the other powerhouses. They suffered great losses. Similarly, they managed to cause tremendous fatalities to the enemies. The four monarch-ranked powerhouses from the Abyssal Plane had fallen, namely the second, fourth, eighth, and tenth-ranked powerhouses. There were also the deaths of a dozen king-ranked powerhouses from the different levels, which resulted in the collapse of the different Abyssal levels. This kind of situation did not happen on the battlefield six thousand years ago. The war had hurt the Abyssal Plane's origin power. Perhaps mankind would stand a chance to fully resolve the issue with the Abyss this time. No matter which generation it was, there had never been so many top powerhouses amongst mankind. Due to the existence of battle armors, different cultivation methods, in addition to the advancement of the Spirit Pagoda's research in spirit souls, contributed to mankind's powerhouses emerging in an endless stream. Furthermore, there were the advancement in soul technologies. Even the Abyssal Plane did not expect mankind to become so powerful to the extent it became difficult to finish them off. The Skycrosser Dulu attained Godhood just before his death burst forth with the God-ranked strike. In fact, he was so powerful that the powerful Devil Monarch did not even manage to display his abilities before he was killed in battle. Although they were exchanging two lives with two kills, the most powerful powerhouses from Mankind's Legion were in the Tang Sect, Shrek Academy, and the Spirit Pagoda. The War God Hall was ranked behind them. The sacrifice was considered minimal from the War God Hall's viewpoint. The seven silhouettes organized themselves into a horizontal line. They were the War God One Vast Sun Dulu Aru, the War God Two Empress or Dulu Long Tianwu, the War God Three Dark Emperor Dulu Luo Yuhang, the War God Five Demon the King Dulu Mo Zhang, the War God Seven Asiatic Apple Dulu Shimeng Shen, the War God Eight Holy Dragon Dulu Nan Gong Ji, and last but not least, the War God Thirteen God Sword Dulu Su Mengjun. The seven War Gods stood side by side. At the moment, their eyes reflected feelings. Of deep sorrow, they bowed in salutation toward the sky in the direction where the Skycrosser Dulu and the ferocious wolf Dulu had died. Aru's eyes were red. He clearly remembered the Skycrosser Dulu's announcement to the committee before the war began. He had officially disclosed that the vast Sun Dulu was going to be his successor. It seemed like the Skycrosser Dulu was saving for a rainy day, judging from the current situation. In fact, it was highly possible that he had planned to seize the opportunity provided by the war to attempt to break through to the God rank by sacrificing his life. He had succeeded. This would be an epoch-making achievement for the Soul Master's world. It was a rank that even the boundless Sea Dulu Chenzinji and the Atlas Dulu Yanming did not manage to achieve. Yet he had attained it despite having to sacrifice his life. He was the first man who stood at the God rank apart from the Demon Empress who used the Blood River God Killer Greater Rage to complete the breakthrough. The Skycrosser Dulu did not have any regrets. At the same time, the War God Hall was so very proud of him. The first battle, victory to Mankind's Legion in the Federal Military Command post. The Divine Brush Dulu Uanzi's body was shivering ever so slightly. There was excitement in his heart. He was excited for the victory in the first round. Reality had
Empress. The second team from her side flew forward and waited in the sky. The Demon Empress was not together with the second team. She was completely oblivious that her side had taken the lead to send out the team. It was surprising that the numerous powerhouses in the second team were no longer led by the Abyssal Plane, but by the Holy Spirit Cult. The Ghost Emperor and the Underworld Emperor flew at the frontmost, followed by the two surviving Great Darkness Heavenly Kings, the Darkness Blood Demon and the Darkness Bell. Following them, there were five Abyssal Powerhouses. Out of the five Abyssal Powerhouses, Tang Wulin had only encountered one before, which was the May Empress. She was also the leader of the Momei Clan and held a special status in the Abyss. In the past, Tang Wulin encountered the Abyssal creatures known as Momis when he was first enlisted in the Blood God Army. They did not cast any shadows and left without a trace. They were unusually swift and were capable of causing more harm to the Blood God Army than the Balan. They were also considered one of the most difficult to kill Abyssal creatures. Of course, the Momis were weaker compared to the Black Empresses. However, the May Empress was one of the most powerful creatures in the Abyssal Plane. The Demon Empress is not taking part with the team, yet, she sent out a few of the most powerful powerhouses from the Holy Spirit Cult in full strength. Won't the Demon Empress be joined by all the Abyssal powerhouses when she partakes in the last round of the battle? Tang Wulin felt puzzled in his heart. He exchanged glances with the Silver Dragon Princess Yu by his side. Meanwhile, the Holy Spirit Dulu Yali standing on the other side of Tang Wulin took a step forward and was in the lead to fly out. She was so furious that her eyes almost spurted fire as she looked at the Ghost Emperor. In the past, Yang Ming had resisted the God Killer Ranch fixed soul ammunition and also the numerous Holy Spirit Cult's powerhouses led by the Ghost Emperor. It could be said that the Ghost Emperor was the true assassin of her husband. Following the leadership of the Holy Spirit Dulu, her team of powerhouses included the father and son team, Pyang Yu Diding and Pyang Yu Dongfang. There were also other numerous powerhouses who joined the scene. Compared to the War God Hall's team of nine members earlier, the team from Mankind's side was an elite one up this time. If one were to judge it based on the Soul Master's ranks, this team would surpass Tang Wulin's team by far. The team was led by the Holy Spirit Dulu Yali with Yuan and Zhenshin, Yuan and Tiandang, Tongu, Wu Zhangkong, Aruang, and Lan Muzi. In addition to Pyang Yu Diding and Pyang Yu Dongfang, there were a total of nine powerhouses with the exception of Wu Zhangkong and Lan Muzi, who were not limit Duluos. However, Wu Zhangkong possessed a set of four-word battle armor which made him even more powerful than an ordinary limit Duluo. It was proven when the Darkness Hummingbird was killed by him earlier. Lan Muzi was also the senior brother disciple of the Inner Court and one of the Sea God's Pavilion members of Shrek Academy. He relied on his son with Saber to defeat a spirit pagoda's powerhouse in the past. The remaining seven people were all limit Duluos with Yuan and Zhenshin and Pyang Yu Diding being quasi-gods. Thus, the Ghost Emperor and the Underworld Emperor from the opposing team could not help having a drastic change of expression when they saw the team's lineup. The Ghost Emperor and the Underworld Emperor were both top quasi-gods. They were even considered as the Holy Spirit Cult's mainstay. Yet, they were going to fight against seven great limit Duluos and two more powerhouses who were no less inferior to the limit Duluos. They had assumed that Mankind's Legion would send out relatively weaker candidates in the second round. They never expected that almost all the limit Duluos from Mankind's side, apart from Tang Wulin, Yuna, the Heartless Duluo, and the Amorous Duluo, would come swarming to the second round. Could it be that they were not afraid of having no one to fight against the Demon Empress during the final battle? Victory or defeat would be determined in three rounds, but there was no such thing as the best two out of three rounds. The defeat of the God-ranked Demon Empress would be the most important matter to determine the final victory of the battle. The Ghost Emperor could not figure it out regardless of how much he racked his brain. Why did they deploy the best powerhouses in this round? Although the lineup of the Ghost Emperor's side was relatively impressive, apparently they were still inferior to the other team. The raging Yali gazed at the Ghost Emperor with an icy cold gaze. It seemed as if she was about to tear him alive. Ghost Emperor, today will be your doomsday. The Ghost Emperor grunted coldly. If you have the ability to do so, in my opinion, you're asking for a reunion with your dead husband in another world. When Young Ming was suffering from the torment of soul refinement, I wonder, where were you? You. Yali was furious. She was the kindest and most gentle person ever. In the past, she was reputed to be the kindest and most beautiful woman on the Duluo continent. Yet, at this moment, she was incapable of controlling her emotions regardless of how hard she tried when she was confronted by her husband's assassin. Your Excellency, Holy Spirit, please stay calm. We still need you to assume command of the team. Yali suddenly heard a deep voice. It shocked her back to her senses akin to the morning bell and the evening drum. She turned her head to the side subconsciously and met Kyang Yu Diding's deep gaze. Yali immediately realized that she had lost her call back there. She nodded once and resumed her usual calm demeanor. Kyang Yu Diding's silhouette flashed once, and he was already at the front of the team with Kyang Yu Dongfang. He turned his head to the side and took a deep glance at his son. Kyang Yu Diding had only one functioning arm. His eyes glimmered as if he was pondering over something. Even though teamwork was important for a battle at this level, the absolute abilities of the team members were even more important. Other than he and his son, the other father and son pair was at the front as well. The two great limit Duluos Yuan and Zhenshin and Yuan and Tiandang were standing side by side with them. They were all assault type soul masters and were limit Duluos as well. When these four people stood side by side, a gush of exceedingly powerful aura burst forth from their bodies to oppress the opposing team. The Ghost Emperor had a slight change of expression. Both he and the Underworld Emperor were the top quasi gods. They were capable of fighting against a powerhouse of the same rank as the Boundless Sea Duluo Chenzinji. However, they were not assault type soul masters. The Ghost Emperor was more of a control and range attack type, while the Underworld Emperor was an agility type. Hence, they felt exceedingly stressed when they were simultaneously confronted by four incomparably strong assault type limit Duluos. Kill. A loud shout was heard coming from the Ghost Emperor. A stream of green light gushed out of his wide mouth. The green light enlarged rapidly and turned into a gigantic skull over 50 meters in diameter instantly. The skull widened its mouth and shot large green flares at the fallen Duluos. Yuan and Zhenshin sneered once. He took a step forward and threw a punch into the void. Immediately, the sky shook and the green flares dispersed upon contacting the tremendous impact. However, the dispersed flares turned into green skulls which flew into the sky spurting ghostly flames. The Ghost Emperor's ghostly flame was unlike any ordinary flame. If it came into contact with a person, it would burn through one soul unless the flame was extinguished. It was highly destructive and could even destroy the battle armor. At the same time he made a move. The Underworld King Duluo Haluos awaved his right hand once. The lower half of the Underworld King saw in the air. A large gray radiance arose from the surroundings. It was the Underworld King domain. Countless souls of the dead creatures surged out from the sky and swarmed the federal military's powerhouses. What a show off. The Holy Spirit Dulu Yali sneered. She raised her right hand to grasp at the thin air. She instantly conjured her staff in her hand. The resonant sounds of the hymn were heard. Soon after, the golden halo surrounded her body and began spreading into the surroundings. Chapter 1899 9 Palace Boxes. The golden halo was extremely peculiar. It seemed like there were little golden angels flapping their wings on the halo. Where the halo passed, the gray masses were fast disappearing akin to melting ice. The dead souls turned into flying dust before vanishing completely. Even the ghost emperor's ghost flame turned dimmer. It was a holy dispel. The underworld emperor was obviously displeased. He was injured during a battle with Yu Yuna earlier, and his underworld king sword was broken as well. At any rate, the opponent, whom he detested the most, was Yali. Yali's individual fighting capacity was nothing to shout about, of course. Yet, her holy ability was despised by the underworld emperor. Meanwhile, the underworld king Dulu knew that Yali did not hold back. She unleashed her holy dispel. Do you really need
forward and arrived at the spot between the underworld emperor and the ghost emperor, its head was lowered. Consequently, no one noticed it earlier. Meanwhile, it exuded an exceedingly terrifying feeling when it raised its head. It was a savage looking face. The abyssal powerhouse had the body of a human, but the head of a lizard. Its face was densely covered in multicolored scales with two bulging eyes. Its eyeballs were constantly moving and emitted a ghastly glow. It pointed to the sky with its right hand. In the next moment, a horrendous scene appeared. All the multicolored scales on its face suddenly exploded and transformed into puffs of colorful light shadows. The light shadows formed colorful squares in the sky before it was launched in all directions. What sort of ability was that? The intense impact of the collision between the two parties slid over the colorful squares upon contact as if nothing happened between them. Tang Wulin suddenly had an idea as he watched the battle in the distance. He discovered in astonishment that the colorful squares were quite similar to his indefinite storm. It was obviously a unique ability which combined space and time. He determined that there were a total of nine colorful squares. The squares began to piece together in the sky. In the next moment, the hideous abyssal powerhouse muttered something. All of a sudden, a large number of abyssal creatures below disintegrated into gushes of abyssal energy which surged into the sky. Victory or defeat was yet to be determined at the moment. Tang Wulin subconsciously made a move, but he immediately felt the target block from the demon empress on the opposite side. The spiritual remote sensing between him and the demon emperor stopped him from raising the golden dragon spear in his hand. After all, he would be in trouble if he were to disturb the battlefield before victory or defeat was determined. The increasing, massive amount of abyssal energy rapidly turned into a myriad of colors halfway across the sky and finally fused into the square boxes. Interrupt him, shouted Yali. The combat heaven and earth were burst forth precisely then. In a flash, Kayanki Diding made his way to the sky. His entire body burst out with an intense dust gold color. His hands grabbed his coiling dragon staff tightly to make a smashing motion as if he was trying to separate heaven from earth. Kayanki Diding was a renowned quasi-god rank powerhouse and a forward battle armor master. Not many powerhouses at the scene would have the courage to brace his full force strike. However, the abyssal powerhouse with the lizard head looked at Kayanki Diding with a mocking glint flickering in its eyes. The abyssal powerhouse was sneering in disdain seemingly. All of a sudden, the nine colorful boxes glowed brightly, and the battlefield underwent changes in a split second. Is that absolute immobility? Xu Xiaoan, who was standing not far away from Tang Wulin, blurted, as the number one master control soul master under the starry sky, she had the most powerful control type soul skills in Shrek Academy. Thus, she was the most knowledgeable of any control type soul skills. She immediately sensed an aura which was quite similar to her soul skills when the nine colorful boxes glowed brightly. It was absolute immobility precisely. It was an ability that could immobilize even a limit to low. The nine boxes shimmered with radiance. Then, a shocking scene emerged. Kyang Yu Diting had just unleashed a full four strike, but his attack landed on an empty spot. In the next moment, he appeared in one of the nine square boxes. It was not only him. All eighteen of the powerhouses from both teams were petitioned instantly. Two people appeared in each of the boxes with a person from each team. The group battle was immediately turned into nine one-on-one -on -one battles instead. What? An icy cold smoke could be seen at the corners of the demon emperor's lips. It was the nine palace boxes which had petitioned the battlefield. It had been planned beforehand. The low-profile abyssal powerhouse was actually ranked fifth in the entire abyss. It was a monarch which reigned over the abyssal sage clan known as the Sage Monarch. The clan had a unique status in the abyssal plane since they were the only clan with a direct lineage. The Sage Monarch had no other clansmen except for itself. Judging by its abilities, it was close to the quasi-god rank. Actually, its fighting capacity was ranked last amongst the ten great abyssal monarchs. Judging by its spiritual power, it was inferior to the spirit monarch. Besides, it had not even achieved the divine origin. However, it played a role similar to Xu Shaolin's role in the Shrek Seven Monsters. It was the most powerful controller within the abyss. The spirit monarch had the most powerful spiritual power, so it was the commander of the abyssal creatures. In the case of the Sage Monarch, it was the true controller on the battlefield. If Xu Shaolin was the one master control type soul master under the starry sky. Then the sage monarch was the number one master controller of the abyssal plane. Currently, the nine palace boxes which had petitioned the battlefield was its special skill. Of the hundred and eight levels of the abyss, the rank of each level was not permanent. Each level's ranking was based on its abilities. When the leader of a level wished to elevate its rank and acquire more abyssal energy, it would need to challenge the abyssal powerhouse from a high level. The sage monarch would then act as the judge of the challenge in this case. Its ability to petition the battlefield was most suitable in such a challenge. Both parties could only fight on a one-on-one -on -one basis in any of the nine palace boxes. The battle would not end until one of them was dead. Thus, the battlefield petition was also known as the death petition on the abyssal plane. Only one side would survive to leave the box. In addition, the sage monarch possessed other powerful control abilities. It was capable of controlling any abyssal clan's power for its own use. Naturally, it would need to mull over its exploitation of the abyssal powerhouses which were way more powerful than it was. The Sage Monarch was also the brains behind the Abyssal Sage King. Its status in the Abyss was no less inferior to the second rank Spirit Monarch. If the Spirit Monarch was considered the commander of the Abyssal Legion, then the Sage Monarch was the villainous advisor of the Abyssal Legion. It represented the Abyssal Sage King so it was not too much to say it oversaw the Abyssal Legion. It had a strong influence over the Spirit Monarch even. It chose to engage in this battle since it came fully prepared obviously. Although the opposing team was far more powerful than it had expected, it was confident of its team when the battlefield was partitioned. 1900 Burn, Holy Spirit. The light shadows flickered and the nine palace boxes had completed the partitioning. The opponent standing before Kayangu Diding was precisely the underworld King Duo Haluosa. Undoubtedly, Haluosa was the most powerful powerhouse in the enemy's team. Next to them, in the second box were the Darkness Blood Demon and Kayangu Dongfang. In the following box, the Ghost Emperor was up against the Holy Spirit Duo Yali. Based on their abilities, Yali was much weaker than the Ghost Emperor in a one-on-one -on -one battle. As a recovery type soul master, she was more suited to provide support for her companions. Yuan and Zhenshin and Yuan and Diantang were up against two abyssal powerhouses. It was obvious the two abyssal powerhouses were creatures with weaker abilities. The Killing Duo Tongyu's opponent was the same. It was an abyssal king ranked powerhouse. The three Great Limit Duoys were assigned according to their ranks in the petitioned battlefield by the Sage Monarch. It was different with the other three battles. The Darkness Bell was up against the Body Duo Ruling, while the Sage Monarch was up against Lan Muzi, who was obviously the weakest member from the Federal Military. Wei Zhang Kong was petitioned with an abyssal powerhouse as well, which one could tell from the abyssal powerhouses or that it was a monarch ranked creature. In this round of battle, the abyssal plane dispatched two Great Monarch ranked powerhouses, one being the Sage Monarch, while the other was this creature. During the petitioning of the battlefield, absolute immobility was applied just as mentioned by Xu Xiaoan. The petitions would remain in place until the battle was completed. The nine palace boxes would only unlock when only one life source was left in each box. Based on the overall capability, there was no doubt that mankind's legion should have the upper hand in this round. The presence of the seven great limit duoys was overwhelming. The Holy Spirit Duo Yali would be able to host the group battle. In a battle of life and death, the final victory would certainly be achieved by mankind's legion. Furthermore, they probably did not have to sacrifice much to achieve it. However, the situation completely changed when the battlefield was partitioned. Although there would be four battles where mankind's legion would have the upper hand, it was difficult to determine the outcome for the other five battles. Mankind's legion would definitely be challenged to achieve overall victory after the battlefield was partitioned. Tang Wulin frowned deeply. The enemy came prepared just as expected. However, there was nothing much he could do to change the situation. He only hoped the powerhouses from his side were more powerful and domineering. His gaze was fixed upon the Holy Spirit Duo and the Ghost
apathetically. I've lost my joy of living in this world. Had it not been my son, I'd have followed Brother Ming since earlier. Death has never terrified me. There's only joy in my heart to be able to join Brother Ming. The ghost emperor was stunned for a moment. He did not expect Yali to answer in such a manner. Her answer sounded a little feeble even. Yet, he felt an ominous resentment in her anger. For some unknown reason, a terrifying feeling arose in his heart. He actually feared being confronted by the woman before him who appeared weak and gentle. He thought about the skycrosser Dulo and the ferocious wolf Dulo who had sacrificed themselves earlier. He had no doubt that these people did not fear death. Thus, he could not allow her the opportunity to go all out. At the thought of this, the ghost emperor raised his hand and slapped the skull underneath him. At once, the skull opened up its huge mouth. The green flares gushed out from its mouth akin to a waterfall with its waters rushing toward the Holy Spirit Dulo. Yali raised the staff in her hand. A layer of holy light formed a protective shield around her. The green flares lashed onto the light shield, which turned the light shield brighter instantly. A piercing radiance dazzled the eyes with its brilliance. More importantly, it had a peculiar texture to it. Yali's body was brightly illuminated. Her eyes were closed, while her lips were muttering something. She was oblivious to the lashings of the green flares around her. The staff in her hand began to burn with a dazzling brilliance. Strong and intense flares arose and fused into the light shield instantly. It rapidly stabilized the holy light shield, which had begun to waver due to the lashings of the green flares. What's she doing? Why did she ignite her weapon? That's a part of Yali's four-word battle armor, and also a part of her soul skills. Burning her staff is akin to quenching a thirst with poison. How long can she sustain the effort? The ghost emperor dared not relax at all. He opened his mouth abruptly and spat out a misty mouthful of blood. If it were an ordinary battle, he would never have done it, for sure. Using his own blood to urge an attack would hurt his origin power. However, he wanted to finish the battle as soon as possible and not give Yali any opportunity at all. One had to acknowledge that the ghost emperor lived up to his reputation of being the most powerful evil soul master today. After he spat out his blood, the green flares changed colors instantly. From the initial misty green, it was now a ghastly light purple. The light shield around Yali's body began to melt away rapidly. A third of the flares vanished in an instant. Meanwhile, Yali opened her eyes. She then turned around with her back facing the ghost emperor. She looked through the light shield in Tang Wuling's direction. Tang Wuling was beginning to lose control of himself at Present, but his aura was suppressed by the demon empress in the distance. If he were to make a move, it would immediately turn into a highly chaotic war. Yali gazed over. Tang Walin could not help shaking violently when he met her gaze. He saw the smile in his godmother's eyes. It was a smile of relief. Just as Yali said it herself, she was not terrified of death. It presented a wonderful opportunity for her to look for her husband. Her soul was already dead ever since Yan Ming's passing. There was a slight unwillingness to part only when she looked at Tang Walin. Mother, Tang Walin could not refrain himself from shouting. Yali nodded at him gently, then she raised her hand and pointed at him. In the next moment, a stream of dazzling brilliance arose from the Holy Spirit Dulo's body. The piercing holy light illuminated the whole nine palace box, which contained her with an incomparably rich incandescent color in an instant. Both she and her forward battle armor ignited and flared up instantly with the most vigorous holy light flames, which swept toward the ghost emperor. The ghost emperor shrieked, You're mad. You're even igniting your own soul. Don't you want your soul anymore? He had thought about how Yali might do this and the sort of mad revenge she would take. Yet, he never thought that the Holy Spirit Dulo would be so resolute. The moment the flares ignited, her body, soul, and battle armor burst into flames completely. The terrifying holy light flames transformed into the purest cleansing power of this world. It swept toward the ghost emperor wildly. The ghost emperor's body rapidly sank into the soul below him. His body was ignited with flares similarly. Under such circumstances, there was no need for him to hold back anymore. He would have to go all out to strive for survival. He felt very confident in himself. After all, Yali's cultivation base was lower than his by a huge gap. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below with suggestions on what novels to read.